Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Sexual Tyrannosaurus. What the? What the? What the? What the fuck is going on in here? I told you we weren't gonna do this. Oh, come on, Gorilla. I thought you liked Star Trek. Oh my God! Why are you dressed like that? It's a uniform. I wouldn't expect you to know anything about that, since you didn't ever serve in the military. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I was a Navy SEAL! Oh, shut the fuck up already! Yeah, Jess, I do like Star Trek, and so do like a billion other people! Yes, and? And every other YouTuber that did a Star Trek episode dressed up like Captain Kirk and had their friends dress up like Klingons! And it was great! Yeah, it's cool, but it's been done! And besides, if we were gonna dress up in uniforms, I would be Captain Kirk! What? No, you're more like Scotty! Scotty? I'm Scotty! Captain, our sensors indicate Klingon activity in the sector- No, 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 no! This is not happening! We're not doing the dressing up thing, so whatever you've got planned, just forget it, Raz! Now that's just great. And after I spent all that money on Leonard Nimoy's... Ugh! This grain-worn underwear. Aw, oh, come on, Brad, don't go! Who's gonna hit the music? Hit it yourself. Well, it looks like we're doing Star Trek. Guess I'll hit the music myself. In 1966, NBC would debut a science fiction television series that would go on to influence pop culture and entertainment to this day. Star Trek, if you didn't know, is kind of a big deal. Comic-Con, cosplay, and cinematic universes can thank their existence, at least in part, to Trek. The idea of a media property spanning television, comics, animated series, and feature films that all belong to a shared universe isn't something that was invented in the mid-2000s. Star Trek has been doing it for years. Point is, Star Trek is way bigger than just some television or movie series. It's bigger than just some action figures, comic books, or video games because it is all of that and more. Wait just a minute, Gorilla. You seem too eager just to go along with the whole Star Trek episode thing. What gives? Well, Jess, if we're gonna do Star Trek, it all starts with... Don't you say it. Migo! 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 Star Trek toys have an auspicious beginning as it seems like the licensors were more interested in how fast they could crap out shit with a Star Trek logo to market than how good the product actually was. But things would improve because between 1974 and 1976, some of the best Star Trek figures that would ever exist for a long time would be made by, you guessed it, Mego. Mego presents the Star Trek action figures featuring the crew of the Enterprise, Captain James T. Kirk, their fearless leader, Dr. Bones McCoy, caring for the health of the Enterprise crew, Scotty, the chief engineer, in charge of the transporter room, Mr. Spock, the Vulcan, second in command, and the Klingon, enemy of the Star Trek crew. Star Trek action figures, complete with accessories shown. Each sold separately from Mego. Mego, who we already discussed at length, was one of the most important and influential toy makers of the 20th century. Mego produced three and three quarter inch figures, accessories, play sets, and vehicles, but what they're most well known for is their eight inch clothed figure line. Star Trek would get the royal treatment in this line, getting figures, accessories, and play sets. Star Trek remains popular to this day, and the Mego line has actually aged pretty well, 
So of course that means Bego Star Trek figures go for Buku Bucks. In 2018, Mego returned from exile to take revenge on the toy industry with its own line of retro style figures. Some of them were complete garbage, while some of them were okay. Anyway, some of those figures were Star Trek. Based on the original series, we got Kirk, Spock, Uhura, and finally Sulu and Chekhov. Also, we got a Gorn that doesn't suck and a Romulan commander. Recently, they've filled out the bridge crew with Scotty and McCoy. Even though these vintage figures can be kind of pricey, I've been able to score a few, so let's take a look at Mego Star Trek and compare them to their modern day counterparts. Alright, so from 1974, here is a, uh, looks like a Type 2, so maybe a later version, of Captain Kirk. Uh, a 8-inch Mego clothed figure. This I got loose. Um, he was not on the card. These actually run pretty damn pricey on the card. Not that I wouldn't uh, open one up if I had one. I just don't happen to have one. And I really, really wanted to do the review for you guys. Um, finally, after all this time with the Mego figures, um, we've been talking about them for so long. But here he is. It's Captain Kirk. It's uh, and it looks, uh, it's a uh, bears a striking resemblance to who it's supposed to be to Captain James Tiberius Kirk of the Starship Enterprise, played by William Shatner. Um, wow, look at how great this looks. When you realize this sculpt, at least, is from 1974. Wow. What a great looking figure. And you know what? The rest of them, they, they just keep getting better. Wait till you see the next one here. Take a look. And it's my favorite character from uh, Star Trek. It's Bones. It's McCoy, played by DeForest Kelly. Um, always such a grump. Um, um, <laughs> like how he was so grumpy, and he, he was always uh, he was just being a bitch to Spock. Um, just a cool character, an awesome character to have on the show, and what a great, great resemblance. Um, on this one, uh, he came, his shirt used to be really, really, had really bad stains. It was really dark toward the bottom there, but I cleaned it with uh, OxyClean, and it pretty much cleared it right up. A little hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, some OxyClean. Um, you see they came with these belts, um, they would come with a phaser and a communicator, some of them came with the tricorder, of course he would have come with the tricorder, but none of these are complete. Um, all these are vintage figures from the 1970s that I picked up loose over the years, um, but he's in good shape, still all of his joints and everything are in good condition. Um, the Star Trek bodies have boots that are molded to the feet, so we don't have separate boots. Um, the, they are kind of slim and it makes it a little bit harder to stand up, but stands up pretty well and uh, that's McCoy. Now here is Leonard Nimoy as Mr. Spock or Spock or whatever the fuck you want to call him. Yeah, there he is as Spock. Mine's got a little bit of a stain on the chin for some reason. I have no idea why. Maybe uh, at some point back in the day somebody tried to do the Mirror Universe Spock with him. Um, but I, I don't know. Or maybe it's some sort of uh, uh, staining or whatever over time. That, that develops on these things. My Kirk has a little bit of a staining on his back for some reason, but since you never really take the clothes off on these things, it doesn't really fucking matter. Um, still in great shape as far as posability. That's why I love about these old Migos. Um, they, even if they do break, you can restring them. You can change out the knees. Um, they can be repaired. They can be fixed. The clothes can be replaced and you still basically have your same figure and the sculpt is fantastic. Look at that. You know exactly who it's supposed to be. The iconic look. And this is from the 1970s. This is before uh, photo scan and real sculpts and, and, and whatever the fuck they call them. Uh, but with all the technology and all the stuff that they do nowadays. And they this is hand painted in a factory in Hong Kong. 
by a person and then uh, put on a bubble. These were the first figures that were exclusively sold on a bubble by Mego. Uh, the rest of them would uh, come in boxes uh, occasionally here, here and there until, um, you know, until the, eventually the, the company went bust in 1982. Um, but wow, what an awesome figure. And here she is, it's Lieutenant Uhura. Um, what a great likeness to who this is supposed to be. It's very, very cool looking. Mine is in great shape. Um, I actually picked this up on for a song. She comes with the with the tricorder. Um, that was pretty much all she came with. I don't know what she came with brand new, but this is the one I had. I don't know if, this, uh, if her dress is a repro or not, but the figure itself is a vintage figure and is in fantastic shape. Oh my god, I love this figure. It's so great. Um, I was glad I, I picked it up on chance, saw it, thought it was a repro, thought it was one of the newer figures, um, but then, you know, just bought it kind of thinking, well, you know what, this, I, I don't know if this is going to be it or not, but I have a feeling maybe it could be the vintage figure. Bought it, took a look at it, and it turns out, if you look at the sculpt on the head, 1974. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a, a vintage Mego figure, whether or not the, the outfit is uh, is new or not, or if this was something that was on the card for a long time, maybe a damaged card, and they finally just took it off the card, said fuck it, and uh, and sold it as is. This it is. This is a vintage Lieutenant Ohura, and she's probably, as far as my vintage uh, Star Trek figures are concerned, is in the best shape. And here he is. It's Scotty. <laughs> oh man, Scotty, and you can see where he, he, nobody has their fucking phaser. I have no idea where these things have gone over the period of time. Um, we don't have any, any phasers for anybody, but we do have complete figures with their outfits. With the exception of Scotty is missing his little decal. They can be replaced, um, so it's not a huge deal. Getting the figure itself is the hard part. Um, the, the rest of the, the accessories and everything can be pieced out and, and taken care of later on. Um, and this another another a uh, great great likeness to uh to Duhan. I mean like he's got a little bit of staining on the side of his fucking face. I have no idea what the fuck that's about. Um otherwise looks great to me. Um wait till you see the new ones. All right, so let's take a look at these brand new figures. First of all, the ones that uh, come from the uh, Trouble with Tribbles. There's two of them. There's a Spock and a Kirk. They come with these Tribbles, which are just little felt balls. Um, not the worst thing in the world. They look, you know, they're, they're a good representation of what, what Tribbles could look like. They're all basically the same size, but they're a neat little accessory nonetheless um, is to, you know, to use with your figures. I don't have any problem with these. Um, that's the, that's the Tribbles. And then let's take a look first at Mr. Sulu and Chekhov. Um, right here. Um, the likenesses, these were um, some of the uh, original figures that were, were, I believe, Target exclusives and um, were a little bit harder to find later on. Um, you didn't see too many of them around. Um, people were, that was the point in time where people were really snapping these up. The scalpers were trying to have a field day with these fucking things. I believe they did end up taking a bath on a lot of them because there really wasn't that big of a market for Star Trek figures that looked like shit. I mean, look at these things. I mean, I I guess you can tell if, if you know what you're looking for that these are supposed to be um, fucking Chekhov and, and Mr. Sulu. I mean, look at that. Does that look like George Takai? Really, maybe a little, a little. Um, later on, they would they would improve it a little bit. They'd get you a little better likeness on them. But for now, um, this one was all we had. And um, and this was the one we only ever had because we didn't get we didn't get a Sulu we didn't get a check off in the OG line so this was was pretty much it for the whole thing so I guess people were just supposed to be happy though for what they fucking got in the first place I guess um, you know they're put on they put them on Mego bodies and uh, they. 
the, the new Mego bodies are, are, are very, very sturdy. They're nice. Um, they're a little bit hard to pose because of the, the rubber bands and stuff. Um, I, I did hear rumor that they're putting them on S-type bodies here soon. Well, it's about fucking time. It's the 21st century. It's about time that we moved up to the S-type bodies. We start stop using rubber bands and horse shit inside these things that keep us from getting the full posability out of them. Um, but they're still pretty posable nonetheless. There they are. It's a Sulu and Mr. Chekhov. And so now when we look at the two Uhuras on the right, we have the original from the 1970s, 1974, 1975, 1976, uh, Migo, the original Migo, Migo Corp, <laughs> Lieutenant Uhura, as played by Nichelle Nichols, um, all, all here in, in uh, all her plastic uh, 1970s action figure glory uh, versus the modern 2018 Nichelle Nichols as Lieutenant Ohura. Um, one looks a little bit bigger than the other for some reason. Let's take a look at the new one real quick. Um, the, the dress, if we're to believe that this one is the original one that seems to be made out of the same stuff that the, uh, the, the ones that I know are legit vintage are made out of, um, it, I don't know. Which one's a little bit better? What do you think? You think the shiny one works? the more nylon looking one or the more cottony one looks I think the the more cottony one looks more like what they were wearing on the show I think the likeness um, is better on the original one from the 1970s with all of the advancements that we have made throughout the decades that have passed ever since this is this 1974 this is 2018 1974, 2018. I, I mean, I, there's really no comparison. You know which one is better. You know which one looks better. You know which one actually looks more like who it's supposed to be. And it's not the new one. It's not the new one. Yes, it's posable, it's more sturdy, so on and so forth. Um, and, and maybe we should just be at least happy that we got something. But I, for one, would think maybe we might have a little bit of improvement over the... Uh, if you're going to change it at all, there would be some improvement. And to me, this is no fucking improvement. Um, the original Star Trek wins this round. All right, so let's take a look at the Scotties. Um, let's let's forget the fact for a moment that uh, our our original Scotty is is missing some accessories. Um, his his shirt appears to be just a little faded. Um, he's missing his decal. Um, but let's take a look at the sculpts. Let's take a look. I mean, it looks like they really really tried. They they really gave it the old college try on the new one. And, and I gotta say, you know what? Even though it's not the best looking sculpt in the, in the modern Mego line, you can really tell that some work was put into it, that they really went out of their way to try to make it look like who it was supposed to be, to try to really get a good look at it. And um, I, I think they did a pretty good job. The accessories, this is when they were still selling them with the, or they were still trying to sell them with the fucking accessories that are light blue. Um, later on, we get some accessories. Actually, this is a newer figure. Um, they, they brought back the light blue accessories to make them look like the old 70s figures and the uh the couple of them that we're gonna see have some modern colored accessories or accessories that look more like the tv show or like what we would have wanted back in the day um whatever not a big deal but it does come with his uh his tricorder comes with his communicator and phaser um and they look exactly like the old ones they they might as well be made from the same mold i'm pretty sure they probably are made from the same mold um the shirt on the other hand is more made out of a nylon um the the emblems and the uh the rank are all printed onto the shirt um unlike 
with the old school ones where it's a separate piece of fabric. Um, I think the old school outfits are a little bit better on these, but and the, the bodies, the bodies are the bodies. They're they're pretty much you know they're basically the same as they were in the 1970s. Maybe they're a little bit thicker, a little bit more sturdy, a little bigger. Um, or maybe they're a little smaller. Yeah, they look a little smaller than their than their 1970s counterparts. It doesn't really matter. Um, they kind of are what they are. What it really comes down to is the sculpts on these and um this one's a, a, a tough one but i gotta say the the new migo i gotta give the new migo the edge on the on the sculpt here the paint job uh, they did their best they did their best on this one but i think the the new migo bears a better resemblance uh to the or to its original counterpart um, so to, it, to who it's supposed to fucking look like, it's supposed to look like Scotty. Um, so I'm going to give the win in this round to New Migo. All right, so let's take a look at Bones. Um, we're going to take a look at the new Bones here in just a second. But I, I just wanted to set the stage here. I want you to take a look at, at this great sculpt. You know who exactly who it's supposed to be. He's got a great looking expression on his face. Um, the sculpt itself is just wonderful. Just a great sculpt. Yes, mine's a little weathered. Mine has seen better days. Um, but when we get down to it, and we see that in not even 2018, in 2021, this is the is Migos offering for Bones. This was sold in stores. This is not a, 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 a test run. This is not a beta figure. This is not something they sent out to the factory and was like, oh, hey, this is kind of what we want it to look like. Of course, um, we'll, we'll have you color it in with the real colors later on. No! This was sold in stores at retail price as an actual action figure. It's not a horror figure. It's not from some, you know, episode where um, fucking it's the ghost of fucking bones. I mean, look at this. I can't even tell you if the sculpt is any better because of the, the bad, bad, bad job they did on the paint. This made it out of the fucking factory. It's a fucking travesty. This thing is a fucking, it's, it's terrible. It's, it's, it's a monstrosity. I can't even come up with enough fucking adjectives to describe how shitty that's at. But this is the bones. This is the modern bones. And I know, I know that eventually they did sell another one. They sold another one that's a little bit more improved. Um, I didn't get that one because when I saw this one, this was the only one I had seen, so I bought it. And you know what? I don't feel like buying another one to replace this shitty one. I feel like they should have just sold me a good one to begin with. This should have never fucking hit the shelves. This should have never hit the pegs. This should have never been for sale anywhere. This was a big mistake, and they should have fucking just ate the loss and chucked them out, but apparently they did. Let's take a look at his outfit. He's got the short sleeve uh, doctor gear on that's kind of cool it, I, I think you know I mean we have seen him in the long sleeves and the short sleeves on the original series um, but it's kind of neat to see him in the short sleeves it's too bad that this fucking this figure sucks ass and uh, it, and looks like shit looks like an absolute ghost um, especially compared to the tan 1970s figures so guess what original 1974 Mego fucking wins the day on on this round wins with in a landslide fucking uh, my favorite guy fucking bones <laughs> fucking DeForest Kelly uh, wins uh, the round all right and now it's time to take a look at um, mr. Spock uh, played by Leonard Nimoy. Um, we have our, our two Spocks here. We have the original Spock from 1974 on the right and um, the brand new, uh, the 19 or 2018 Spock on the left from the Trouble with Tribbles, the ones that came with the little the little, uh, little felt balls that were to represent the Tribbles and stuff. Um, let's take a look at the brand new figure. He looks pretty good. Um, honestly, if I'm being honest, it does look pretty good. The skin tone is a little closer. Um, if you did have green blood, um, you, your skin wouldn't be uh, so so bronzy tan, would it? 
Um, I don't think so. Um, but <laughs> like so, yeah, he looks a little bit more like you'd want him to look. The sculpt itself, um, you know what? The the original sculpt is a little bit better, in my opinion. I like the original sculpt a little bit better, a little bit closer um, to to Leonard Nimoy. Um, there's just something about it that uh, just. It has a better caricature, has a better look of the person that it was supposed to be. This, this could be Zachary Quinto, for fucking all we know. Um, and I mean, you know, whatever. That, that, that wasn't who was playing Spock in the Trouble with Tribbles episode. That we were trying to make a Leonard Nimoy figure. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look as much like Leonard Nimoy as the original one does. The outfit, not so bad. It, it, it's fine. I mean, it's brand new stuff. We, you're never gonna lose this uh, this decal um, or this uh, or the ranking on the on the sleeves. Not that that was a huge problem on the old ones, since these have been able to remain on there. Um, but the uh, the I like the the accessories are in uh, silver and black. Um, I do think that's kind of cool that they're a little bit more modernized. It's like, hey, man, we're not we're not just fucking selling these to, to you know, like we're going to pretend it's the 1970s. Like, oh, we're going to sell you the same old shit from the, from the old days. No, we can we make a couple improvements here and there. Um, and, and I do give them credit um, for, for making the improve, improvements over time. And they did, as they, st they made Star Trek figures, they have been trying to make improvements um, with a couple of missteps, a couple of really notable missteps that we saw today. Um, but yeah, when it comes to these, man, this is a real close race because while I do like the, um, the, the modern accessories, I do like the, uh, I don't know, just, I just kind of like the look of the figure on the new one. Um, the sculpt on the original one is, is superior. Is that enough to, to win it, win the day for, uh, for new Mego? Um, I don't think so. Maybe this is a tie. Oh, this one's a tie. Spock versus Spock, we have a tie. And now it's time for the main event. Uh, captain, for the captain's chair, it is uh, Captain Kirk versus uh, Captain Kirk from 2018. So 1974 versus 2018. We've gone over the bodies, we've gone over the accessories, we've gone over the materials used on the clothes, um, and, and you kind of know where I where I land on that. Let's take a look at the new Captain Kirk from 2018 uh, based on the trouble with Tribbles, so the uniform is going to be different. It's the green getup from that outfit, the more casual fucking captain shirt i don't even know uh, what what this uh, goes into why there's a green captain shirt what why uh shatner was wearing the green cap captain shirt but i think what the fuck let's let's address the elephant in the room let's address fucking what we're what we're really looking at what everybody's looking at what the fuck is up with this sculpt what the fuck happened why is his eyebrows black like little black lines like like he did, like he shaved off his eyebrows and had to fucking pencil him in. Why is his hair red? You couldn't give fucking Richie Cunningham red hair. And now we got fucking Shatner red hair. What the fuck is up with his skin? This is what fucking William Shatner looks like. This is. This, I, I I don't even know what to say with this. What is this? This is almost as bad. This sculpt is almost as bad as that Andre the Giant figure. This is almost as bad as that Andre the Giant figure. I'm gonna say it right now. This is a fucking terrible sculpt. This this negates any sort of points that this figure could have made with, with any improvements or anything like that as far as the body is concerned, as far as the accessories are concerned. Anything that came with this that would have, would have gave it a point that could have you know, at least led to a tie with the original figure. With the original figure fucking has been negated by this shitty fucking sculpt. And this has been the problem with fucking Mego ever since they've been resurrected. It's that like, oh, we're, we're gonna kind of give you what you want, but then we're gonna fucking half-ass it. And this is a half-assed, poor, piss-poor, horrible fucking attempt at a sculpt. This is awful. This isn't what people wanted. What? No, 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 it's fine. You can just go ahead and repaint this and re-sculpt that. No! I shouldn't have to fucking finish making the toy. I should be able to buy it Take it out, put it on a shelf, and call it a fucking day. But if I do that, I, I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at this, I'm looking from something from 1974, and I'm looking at something from 2018, and why the fuck is the sculpt from 2018 so inferior? 
I don't know. You be the judge, but I think we know who fucking wins this round. It's classic Star Trek. All right, so at the end of the day, um, well, I think we all knew what the uh, the final result was going to be with these. I think we all knew that the uh, the original figures from 1974 were going to kick the dicks in on these 2018 figures. I just didn't think it was going to be this bad. Jesus Christ. Holy cow. Look, and so many things about these new figures um, that, that you can raise critiques on. There are so many things about these new figures um, that, that could have been avoided, that could have been done correctly, that could have been done to make them superior to their 1970s counterparts. But that wasn't done. And that's endemic of the whole new Mego experiment. Uh, in which we have this this resurrected toy brand um, to, to try to cash in on the nostalgia of the 1970s, which is quickly running out. And you got to understand, it's like, this isn't nostalgia talking for me. I didn't grow up with these things. I didn't have these when I was a kid. I'm not a 70s kid. I didn't grow up with Migos. I didn't have these. These things were long gone by the time that I was collecting toys. Um, I have only come across these in the past few years. And this is my real opinion on them. And I'm, I'm looking at these 1970s figures and that the quality that these things had, the care that they were made with, the love of the IP, the, the, the respect for the consumer that they had when they made these things. And then I look at the new ones and it's, it, it's without a soul. It's not there. It's just not there. There's, there's a couple cool things about them, but they're never going to be as good as the original figures. And, and you know, that's, that's really sucks because all they really had to do was just remake the original figures. The, reverse engineer the fucking sculpts, reverse engineer the materials, and just remake the old figures, and people would have bought them in droves. And, but what we got instead was uh, you try to go your own way, you try to make the new sculpts, and it all looks like shit. So at the end of the day, it was obvious, uh, but you gotta say it, 1974 Mego Star Trek wins. Well, that's it for this episode. Mr. Ventura, set a course for the next episode. Set it yourself, nerd. Are you still mad about the Migos? Yes, and that you wouldn't let me be Captain Kirk. You know what? Go ahead. Be Captain Kirk. All right. Ha <laughs> Captain's Log. We've reached the end of the episode. I've survived yet another diatribe on dirty old dolls from the 1970s. Mr. Classic, set a course for the next episode. Aye, Captain. Raz Holly, hit the music. I think he left, dude. Mr. Classic, hit the music. Yeah, okay. What's the problem, Mr. Classic? I can't do it, Jess. I'm. Are you are you giving it all you got, Scotty? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck both of you! <laughs> oh, I mean, fascinating.